Hey guys, hope your day is going well. Um, as you can probably tell from what's in front of me and also the title of the video, um, this is about a, well the main topic of the video is about a brewery visit that I did. Um, I do have some footage to show you after I finish talking. It's only about three or four minutes I think. Um, it's a little bit rough and ready so forgive me for that. Uh, but before we get into that, I just wanted to show you the beers that I picked up from the brewery. Um, and also a big shout out to our friends that we stayed with in Hawke's Bay, Rob and I Nara. We had a great time down there. So yeah, we did a few things down there, but these are the beers that we picked up, or I picked up from Zealand Brewery in Hawke's Bay. So they're in Estale, if any of you guys know the region. So that's their Swartz beer, 5%. That is their, is it Hell's or Halley's beer? Also 5%. They've got a nice looking Pilsner, also 5%. So you can see there's a bit of the theme. Also all the beers are bottle conditioned, but they are looking to go to um, an automated bottling machine, which will eliminate the, uh, the bottle conditioned uh, beers. So yeah, that's a pale ale, also 5%. And then last but not least, they do a ESB 5.3, and that is actually the beer I have poured up, and as you can tell, I've just about finished. So I can tell you it's a very nice malt-driven beer, beautiful deep copper colour, um, some real nice sweet caramel and biscuit coming through on the flavour, some nice firm bitterness. But it's got a real nice dry finish to it, which just makes you want to go straight back in for another mouthful. A very easy drinker at five percent. A real, a real nice, um, session, almost sessionable beer at five percent. Mm. So beautiful. And then I also picked up this little two eighty five mil um, tasting glass. I was good if you're wanting to do a tasting of a big five hundred mil bottle or bigger. Perfect size, 285 mil. So can't say no to another glass. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, stop talking now, guys, and we'll cut over to the footage. Um, got any questions? Just shoot them down in the comments. Um, hope you enjoy it, and um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Over and out. Cheers. What a nice little spot. Train line. Hey guys, we're just outside Zealand Brewery in where are we? Estale in the Hawke's Bay. So I'm just going to go inside and have a look around, hopefully, do a bit of videoing. It's a pretty serious looking mill. I guess you need something pretty, pretty serious. Is it all rodent proof in there? Yeah. Tricky can to keep it out. Yeah. So it's your. Um, yeah, so we've got a mash ton uh, and kettle, and then lava ton here. We'll pull down the bottom. Okay. And then I'll pump in the middle. Awesome. And then you've got four. These are, what are these? Yeah, 12 so they're, um, they're two and a half thousand litres. Oh, two and um, a half. So we get, if we, with thousand litres per batch, and then um, we'll double brew into them. Okay. Uh, to get to yep. thousand meters, leave, leave that head space. So you could just do a, if you want to do a smaller batch, you could just do a thousand yeah, meters. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah so. the head space doesn't matter, does it? Because it's all filled with CO2. gas anyway. Yeah, that's right. This is um, chilled water. Oh, okay. So this is um, this is for our power flow system. We've got the hot work um, that comes um, from the whirlpool after the boil. And then we crash pull it here. Um, this is the oxygen, and then the bare line to one of the four fermenters. And then this one is chilled water for for fermentation to keep um, to keep fermentation at a uh, certain level. Okay. And then we we're cooling these two down at the moment, so we want to transfer these into the chiller. On, so these have got a jacket on them. Yeah, the inside. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Internal jacket, and then. Um, and transfer these on Tuesday. Some people use glycol, don't they? Yeah, so, so luckily uh, the water at the moment is just chilled water is okay. okay. Though, though we've only just got these in, um, we're not, I'm not sure if the 
glycol not I'm hoping not because it's just, it's yeah, just it's the cost, the cost of it. Yeah. yeah. But with our old ferment, uh, fermenters the water was did the trick. Yeah. Cool. And that was your that's your HL or your boiler around the corner. <coughs> yeah, all of us around the corner. Generates the steam for the um, for the kettle. And okay. we'll for the uh, keg washing. This is our keg. Oh, keg sorry. Washer, oh, keg washer. Keg filler on the other side. Oh, okay. So you've got a bottling machine. Somewhere. Yeah, we got a. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't call it a machine. It's pretty um, wee bottle condition. Or pretty basic. Oh, does the trick though. Does the trick, yeah. But um, we are getting automated. We're moving away from bottle conditioning. And we're getting automated filler. Hopefully, at the end of the month, it will, it will arrive. Oh, nice. Mm. And these are some of your old. These are the old uh, fermenters. Old fermenters. So, we're waiting for some engineers to turn up, and we'll get them inside the chiller, uh, and we'll use two of them for um, uh, bottling tanks. Okay. We'll hook glycol up, um, so we can get them really cold down to you know just over, a, just just above freezing really, and get them as cold as we can before bottling. Yeah, so the colder you can get the beer into the bottles, the better. Yeah, so le less breakout. So oh, okay. Yep. Our There's chillers. Gas escaping. Yeah, the chillers probably at about two degrees. So is, are you finding your production sort of going up? Yeah, so production is increasing, and um, we're doing we're doing quite well on. Um, Frozen. Oh. oh, she likes the frozen Wisting. bottle to lie in summer day against the bottle. Yeah, she sometimes falls asleep next to it. Mm.